Himalayan rivers. The Indian rivers are divided into two major groups. One, the Himalayan rivers. Two, the peninsular rivers. Himalayan rivers. The Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra are three major Himalayan rivers. They are perennial in nature. The Indus River System Indus, also called the Sindhu, is 2,900 kilometers long. It enters India from Ladakh in Jammu and Kashmir. Joined by major tributaries Shyok, Zaskar, Hunza and Nubra, it flows into Baltistan and Gilgit and emerges from the mountains near Attuk. Rivers Satluj, Bias, Ravi, Chenab and Jhelum merge at various points and join the Indus in Pakistan. Hereafter, the river flows southwards and drains into the Arabian Sea. Most part of the Indus River system lies in Pakistan. The Ganga River System River Ganga originates from the Gangotri Glacier. It is joined by the Alaknanda at Dev Prayag, where from it takes on the name Ganga. Its major Himalayan tributaries are rivers Yamuna, Ghagra, Gandak and Kosi. Chamba, Betwa and Son are its major tributaries from the peninsular uplands. Joined by these tributaries, the Ganga flows eastwards till Farraka, West Bengal, where it bifurcates into Hooghly and Padma. Hooghly flows southwards and drains into the Bay of Bengal. Padma flows into Bangladesh, where it is joined by the Brahmaputra. Eventually, it drains into the Bay of Bengal. The length of River Ganga is 2,500 kilometers. The Brahmaputra River System The Brahmaputra rises in Nepal Himalayas. Flowing parallel to the Himalayas, it takes a U-turn at Namcha Barwa and enters Arunachal Pradesh. It is called the Hang at this point. After major tributaries like Dibang and Lohit join it, it takes the form of Brahmaputra in Assam. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more, download iPrep and learn unlimited.